Welcome to Metal Acto. Today we are going to discuss the next part of the viral messenger RNA synthesis. In the previous lecture, we discussed the messenger RNA of the DNA viruses. But now we are going to discuss messenger RNA of the RNA viruses. So, first of all, again, we will uh, revise the polymerase. So, actually, you will see the two basic types of the polymerase DNA dependent and the RNA dependent. In the DNA dependent, you will see the two categories of the polymerase DNA dependent DNA polymerase. It means that they actually form the DNA from the DNA. That is why it is called DNA dependent DNA polymerase. And next is the DNA dependent RNA polymerase in which you will see the formation of the RNA from the DNA. So, these are the enzymes DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Next is the RNA dependent. So, RNA dependent RNA polymerase. It means that they form the RNA from the RNA. That's why they are called RNA dependent RNA polymerase. And next is the RNA dependent DNA polymerase. It means that they form the DNA from the RNA. That's why they call the RNA dependent DNA polymerase. And again, the most important point in mostly uh, you will see that the DNA dependent categories actually present in the host cell okay that's the most important thing and the rna dependent polymerase is actually present or comes from the virus okay that's the, again the most important thing in majority situation but there are some exception can also exist okay so if we again see it another form that is dna has two options dna can form DNA, DNA can form RNA. When DNA convert into the DNA, then what type of polymerase it requires? It requires the DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Okay. When you see the formations of the RNA from the DNA, then what type of polymerase it requires? It requires the DNA dependent RNA polymerase because you are synthesizing the RNA. And similarly, when you talk about the RNA, RNA again can form the two things. RNA can form the RNA, RNA can form the DNA. When you see the formation of the RNA from the RNA, then what type of polymerase it required? It required the RNA dependent RNA polymerase. So, okay. Next is the uh, when you see the formations of the DNA from the RNA, then it required the RNA dependent DNA polymerase. So here are basically the different situation. And ultimately, our main focus is on the synthesis of the messenger RNA because we are talking about the synthesis of the viral messenger RNA. But in this lecture, we will just focus on the RNA viruses. Okay. So if you see here, RNA virus has two categories. Okay. Single stranded RNA and the double stranded RNA. Okay. In RNA viruses, in majority cases, you will see the viral messenger RNA synthesis happens in the cytoplasm. So here are basically the most important thing. But there are some exceptions when you talk about the retrovirus and the influenza virus. So here are that actually synthesize the messenger RNA in the nucleus. Okay. So if you see here in the single stranded RNA, again, we categorize into the positive RNA and the negative RNA, positive polarity or negative polarity. Positive polarity means that they are similar to the messenger RNA. And negative polarity means that they are complementary to the messenger RNA. If you see here, first of all, if I say that here is the sequence that is the A U G C. Now, here is the sequence of the RNA. Okay. And as we know that uh, the presence of the uridine because it is uh, opposite to the DNA. Instead, we see the thymine in the DNA. In the RNA, we see the uridine. Okay. So, that is if I say this is the messenger RNA. Okay. This is the messenger RNA. Okay. So, if you see that if there are basically the two RNA, one RNA sequence is similar to the messenger RNA. Okay, then I say it is positive polarity RNA. Okay, that's the most important thing. 
if there is an other if there is an other rna okay and that sequence is a u a u a g c or g okay now another rna has this sequence that is complementary to the messenger rna as you know that the a is opposite to the t and g is opposite to the c so in that situation a opposite to a you will see the u opposite to the u you will see the a opposite to the g you will see the c opposite to the c you will see the g so now that that is actually complementary to the messenger rna and now we call it the negative rna so that's the basic difference between the positive polarity and the negative polarity rna okay again you see positive majority cases positive polarity rna actually present in non segmented form it is actually present as a whole okay but if you see the negative polarity it has two option these rna can be present in the segmented form multiple segmented form but and the in the non segmented you will see there is a single whole rna okay now we are going to discuss first of all single stranded rna positive polarity and the non segmented okay again non segmented rna we further categorize into two because in this see, in this case you see the two strategies okay first we are going to discuss about the f p t c okay f for flavi virus okay p for coronavirus t for toga virus and the c for coronavirus specifically severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 actually fall in the coronavirus okay here are basically the four families of the viruses okay so actually they are positive polarity okay they are actually present in the here is the rna and that rna actually present in the positive polarity it's mean that they are just similar to the messenger rna so now these viruses do not require any polymerase now the genome of these viruses will act as the messenger rna okay now they will act as the messenger rna now there is no conversion happens in these viruses they will just act as the messenger rna okay that is the most important thing which you have to remember about the flavi virus picorna virus toga virus and the corona virus and next is the most important categories that is actually again fall in the non segmented positive polarity single stranded rna and that is actually if you see that is the retrovirus retro virus most important virus this is actually the family of the virus retro what type of virus actually fall in it that is the hiv okay that's the most important thing so if you see here in this case they are again single stranded rna and they are positive okay but in this case you see that they are actually present in pair so that's why they uh, they are actually the diploid because two is positive strands of the rna actually present in these viruses okay that is actually the rna okay now they can act as messenger rna but in that situation they will first convert into the dna they will first convert into the dna double stranded dna double stranded dna okay now what type polymerase they require they require the rna dependent dna polymerase rna dependent dna so you listen the word rna so it's mean that they actually forms in the viruses so actually they require the rna dependent dna polymerase and these polymerase actually viral in nature they actually comes from the virus okay they they form the uh, dna from the rna and after that you see from the dna you will see the formations of the after that you see the formations of the 
मैसेंजर आरएनए ओके दैट्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड व्हाट टाइप पॉलीमरेज इट रिक्वायर्ड इट रिक्वायर्ड द डीएनए डिपेंडेंट आरएनए पॉलीमरेज डीएनए डिपेंडेंट ओके इफ यू सी हियर डीएनए डिपेंडेंट आरएनए पॉलीमरेज ओके दैट इज DNA dependent. Now DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Now it actually present in the host cell. So it is actually comes from the host cell. This polymerase. So if you have a strong concept, you can easily tell which polymerase comes from the virus and which polymerase comes from the host cell. So in that situation, you will see the formations of the messenger RNA. That's the most important thing. They first convert into the DNA, then ultimately you see the formations of the messenger RNA. But in that situation, you see the they act directly as act as a messenger RNA. So that is the basic difference. There is an exceptional case in case of retroviruses. Okay. Next, if we discuss the single stranded RNA, that is negative polarity. Okay. And you again see the two categories: segmented and the non-segmented. Segmented. most important virus that actually fall in the segmented is the ortho mixo virus ortho mixo virus the most important virus that actually fall in this family of the virus is the influenza virus that's the most important thing influenza virus okay so this virus contain the negative polarity negative polarity rna so now the negative polarity rna first convert into the positive polarity positive polarity rna okay positive polarity rna now what type of polymerase it require it required the rna dependent rna polymerase so that's the most important thing rna dependent rna polymerase okay because you will see the synthesis of the a positive polarity rna from the negative because they are just complementary to each other positive and negative so that will act as a messenger rna positive polarity that is in case of ortho mixo virus influenza virus okay so if you see rna dependent so rna dependence mean that they comes from the virus so in that situation this polymerase is actually comes from the virus and that is the viral rna dependent rna polymerase that same process happens in the non segmented okay the more in the non segmented you will see the para mixo virus para mixo virus that include the measles okay most important virus in the para mixo is the measles virus and you can also see the rhabdo rhabdo virus the most important virus that actually fall in this family of the virus is the rabies virus that actually cause the rabies so the, uh, but the difference between them uh, these viruses are basically the segmented influenza viruses segment having segmented rna but the in rhabdo virus and para mixo virus you will see the unsegmented rna but the process will happens the same negative polarity convert into the positive with the help of the rna dependent rna polymerase okay now the last one is the double stranded rna okay they actually that process also actually happens in the cytoplasm they contain both the positive strand and the negative polarity strand but they are actually present in segmented form the most important thing or most important family of the virus is the rio virus in which you will see the most important virus is the rota virus that actually cause the diarrhea so rota virus so actually they are present in the double stranded form double stranded okay here are basically the double stranded rna positive and the negative so do you think that the positive polarity can act as a messenger rna similar to that case because they act a positive polarity strand act as a messenger rna but now there is a problem in that situation this positive strand is actually covalently bounded to the negative strand so now we cannot use the positive polarity strand as a messenger rna because it is attached to the negative so we first of all we have to convert it into the separate messenger rna so now you will see the formations of the rna from the rna so again you will see what type of polymerase you require you require the 
RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay, that actually again comes from the virus. So you will see the transcriptions of the RNA into the RNA messenger RNA. So that's the most important process that actually happens in the real virus rota virus that is actually double strand. Again, I'm again saying that there are two exceptions in which you will see these two viruses replicate again in the nucleus as well. So first one is the retrovirus and second is the influenza virus. So basically these two viruses take some part in the nucleus as well. So this is all about the RNA viruses, messenger RNA synthesis. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.